Long ago, in the beautiful kingdom of Hyrule, surrounded by mountains and forests. Legends told of an omnipotent and omniscient golden power that resided in a hidden land. Many people aggressively sought to enter the hidden golden land. But no one ever returned. One day, evil power began to flow from the gold land. So the king commanded seven wise men to seal the gate to the land of the golden power. That seal should have remained for all time. But, when these events were obscured by the mists of time and became legend, A mysterious wizard known as Aghanim came to Hyrule to release the seal. He eliminated the good king of Hyrule. Through evil magic, he began to make descendants of the seven wise men vanish, one after another. and the time of destiny for Princess Zelda is drawing near. Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome to my new Let's Play, Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Probably my second favorite Zelda game of all time. Uh, it was for the SNES, it came out in 1991, it wasn't a launch title, but it was one of the early games for the Super NES, and I actually did not own or play this game until very late in the uh, Super NES's lifespan, but once I did play it, it was amazing, I loved it, and it's definitely one of my favorite games of all time, and I am so happy to bring it for you guys today in Let's Play form, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to name myself after, well, myself. I don't know if Kirby will be able to fit, but Slim will be just fine. Let's get started. Help me! Please help me! I am a prisoner in the dungeon of the castle. My name is Zelda. The wizard Aghanim has done... Something to the other missing girls. Now only I remain. Aghanim has seized control of the castle and is now trying to open the seven wise men's seal. I am in the dungeon of the castle. Please help me. Slim, I'm going out for a while. I'll be back by morning. Don't leave the house. Okay, uncle, whatever you say, but you took my sword and shield jerk. Well, here we go. This is the start of uh, Link to the Past. Uh, we have nothing at the moment. Even if we go to our inventory, we have nothing we can use. So we'll just have to make do with uh, throwing pots and finding things under them. Although I suppose there is a treasure chest over here, so let's check inside. Ooh, you got the lamp. Now you can light torches and see your way in darkness. That sounds good to me. Uh, in this game, you uh, select items on the menu like this, and you are actually putting the items to the Y button, so uh, whenever you can actually use the items, press the Y button to use them, but we have no magic power, so we can't use the lantern yet. Unfortunately, you are short on magic power, and you can't use this item now. Watch your magic meter. Okay, let's only focay on the magic meter for the whole game, okay, not really. Well... 
because we're a nosy little kid, we have to go out and see where our uncle is up to. Unfortunately, though, it's raining, and we don't like to get wet, but that is just the way things will have to be, won't it? Also, the uncle told us that we had to mow the lawn, so I figured this would be a good alternative. Okay, that's good. Uh, you also have a map button we can use to uh, see all of Hyrule. Pretty cool. And I'm guessing we're gonna go want to go to that giant X on the screen, so let's make our way up towards there. After we destroy a few more bushes, because why not? Okay. Help me! I am in the dungeon of the castle! I know there is a hidden path from outside of the castle, to the garden inside. Okay, well, thanks for that tip, I guess. Unfortunately, the guards are a little smarter, and they're not going to let us just walk through. Hey, hey, you're not allowed in the castle, son! Go home and get some sleep! Well, at least he's caring about our sleep habits. Hmm. But I have a feeling there might be something around here. Yeah, that looks kind of suspicious. Who keeps a random hole here? Oh, hey, Uncle, what's up? Ugh, Slim. I didn't want you involved in this. I told you not to leave the house. Take my sword and shield and listen. You can focus power in the blade by holding the B button. Then release it using the secret technique handed down by our people. Slim, you can do it. Save the princess. Zelda is your... Is she my wife? That'd be really cool if she was. But now we have our sword. We can use it to slash things. We also have a shield. The shield is not super useful. But we can use it to dodge projectiles that come at us. There's also future upgrades to the shield that'll help us a lot more than this normal one. But for now, let's go ahead and slaughter some guards. They only have little knives while I have a giant sword, so we can tell that they are completely outnumbered. Also, if you didn't get the uh, lamp from your house, it'll actually appear right here. They actually reward you by picking up the lamp early, so they give you rupees instead. But if you forget, it's right there, and I believe if you keep going throughout the first dungeon, it'll keep trying to offer you the lamp. So yeah, just uh, take it eventually, I guess. You don't have to take it right away, but still, neat little feature, I guess. Also, can you see me? Can you see what I'm doing? I'm inside, and you're not stopping me. You're not shooting arrows at me. You're an idiot. I love how this guy's looking at me, too, and he's the one that was like, you can't get in, but he's like, oh, he's in now, let's just stand here and do nothing. Okay, now the guards actually have swords now, so we'll have to be a little careful. There's uh, different color variations of guards. I believe it's uh, green, blue, red, and yellow. And as you keep uh, going through the colors, they get one extra hit, basically. So, uh, green soldiers take two hits, red take four, blue take three, uh, yellow I think takes the maximum, if I remember correctly. But for now, we have to find Princess Zelda. She's locked somewhere in this castle. Also, for those who've played the Zelda games, uh, sequentially in terms of uh, when they first came out. This is also known as Zelda 3, so the third Zelda game. It was kind of a combination of uh, Zelda 1 and Zelda 2. Well, not really Zelda 2, but basically a better adaptation of Zelda 1, and they fixed a lot of the problems that existed with Zelda 1, namely the combat and how uh, difficult it was. Not so much in this game. They greatly... Uh, increased all of the different elements and uh, especially sword fighting. Sword fighting feels a lot more fluid in this game than it was in other games. You got the map! You can use it to see your current position in the rest of the dungeon. Press X to use it. 
Well, that's basically how we use the map. Thank you, game. I appreciate it. Also, this is extremely fun. <laughs> I freaking love knocking the guards into the pit. Of course, though, you won't get any hard drops if you knock them off the pit, so be wary of that. Another thing I really like about this game is you can actually use pots and other objects as uh, weapons in this game, as we'll see in a little bit here. I really like when the game allows you to use the environment around you to uh, better your chances of survival. They definitely make use of that a lot more in uh, more modern games. Okay, let's see what we have in here. Well, first we have a key, and second we have... You got the boomerang! Give it a try! And it told you how to use the item system, which I already explained. Now, you don't actually have to confirm your selection. You just move your cursor over to the item and then press the start button again and you can use it. Uh, the boomerang is actually pretty good. It can stun enemies. Its only downfall is it doesn't have a very large range, and uh, you can't really curve it very well, so... It's not going to be the best combat tool, but it's a good secondary item for right now. Our sword should do us just fine, though, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Okay, this looks like the dungeon. I think we're in the right place. Let's take out you first. And we have to take out this guy now. Careful, he has a mace. You know what? Eat clay pottery, jerk! And take this! <laughs> you got the big key. This is the master key of the dungeon. It can open many locks that small keys cannot. So, probably this lock right here. And... Hello, Zelda. Thank you, Slim. I had a feeling you were getting close. Slim, listen carefully. The wizard is magically controlling all the soldiers in the castle. I fear the worst for my father. The wizard is an inhuman fiend. With strong magical powers. Do you understand? Uh, basically, wizard equals bad. Yeah, I got it. Alright, let's get out of here before the wizard notices. I know a secret path, but first we have to go to the first floor. Let's go. Now first I'm going to grab that rupee chest. And yes, that's another uh, chest where you can find the lantern if you didn't grab it earlier. Just thought I'd let you know. So let's make our way back to the first floor. Now that we're on the uh, upper path here, we can actually take a few shortcuts to uh, avoid some of the soldiers on our way back. Namely, this way. So yes, we get to skip all these guys. I don't think they can actually see us. Nope. Can I throw my boomerang at them? Kind of. Yeah, a bit too far away, though. Also, let's see the boomerang in action. <laughs> Normally it stuns enemies, but they can also push them forward, too. But yeah, that's basically what the boomerang does. Pretty handy tool, but we can upgrade the boomerang, and we'll get a better version of it later. For now, though, let's make our way back to the main room, because I think Zelda knows where to go from there. This is her castle, after all. There is a secret passage in the throne room that leads to the sanctuary. I'm sure the old man there will help us. 
Wouldn't he be a priest, not just an old man? I mean, you gotta work on your labels a little more, Zelda. Come on. Yeah, leave me alone. Hee <laughs> hee, I love doing this. I don't know why, I just love doing that. It doesn't actually do anything or show you anything interesting, but... It's a fun hobby to do, I guess. That ornamental shelf should open. Do you have a light? It's pitch dark inside, and you can't see without one. If you're ready, let's go. Help me push it from the left. Oh, fine, left, I know. I was just being difficult, don't mind me. Okay, well, here's where the lamp will come in handy if you brought one or got it. Because, yes, even with all those chests, you can still technically skip it. But, yeah, with the lamp, we can actually see what's in this room, and it makes uh, getting through a lot easier. Especially getting through all these stupid rats as well. Oh, the rats don't really do much damage to you. It's good to know. Oh god, snakes! Ow. Okay, well the snakes do more damage than the mice do. Once again, that's good to know. Looks like this door is locked. Not anymore, because we have a key. After passing through these sewers, we'll be very close to the sanctuary. Let's be careful. Got it. Zelda, just letting you know, you don't have to tell me to be careful in a dark sewer. Just putting that out there. Okay, what do we have in here? Well, it looks like we need a key again. Did that rat eat the key? I think he did. Kind of freaks me out. Also, doesn't this wall look a little strange? Yeah, it does. I guess we'll be coming back here later to see what that's all about. For now, though, we have to keep on moving. Ah. Ooh, red rupee, that's really cool. We're getting a lot of rupees from these rats. <laughs> these are... this is a very rich rat family. Sanctuary is just beyond that door. Pull the switch over there. Zelda, you realize there's two switches, right? Funnily enough, though, Zelda gives you a hint of which one it is. You have to pull the lever to open the door. Press the A button and hold down on the control pad. Let's pick the wrong one first, because why not? Oh god, snakes! What kind of sanctuary is this where that has snakes everywhere? Well, nonetheless, we made it. Princess Zelda, you're safe. Is this your doing, Slim? Yes, it was Slim who helped me escape from the dungeon. When I was captive, the wizard said, Once I have finished with you, the final one, the seal of the wise men will open. Slim, you must not let the land of Hyrule fall into the wizard's clutches. If he releases the seal of the seven wise men, evil power will overwhelm this land. Before that happens... 
Before it's too late, destroy the wizard before he destroys all of Hyrule. You can do it. You can. I sense that a mighty evil force guides the wizard's actions and augments his magical power. The only weapon potent enough to defeat the wizard is the legendary Master Sword. It is said that the village elder is a descendant of one of the seven wise men. Maybe he can tell you more. I will mark his house on your map. But watch your every move. I am certain that the castle soldiers will be looking for you now. I will hide Princess Zelda here. Do not worry. Seek the elder. Do you understand? Yes. Thank you, you two. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me steal your stuff. Oh, a heart container. You found a heart container, your heart increases by one. Alright, perfect. What do you have to say? Meet the elder of the village and get the master sword. And what about you, Zelda? Slim, be careful out there. I know you can save Hyrule. Yes, Zelda, I will save Hyrule. I will do it by any means necessary. <laughs>